so hello everyone so today we have got arihant who has got placed as a business analyst recently and uh, we will have discussion with him uh, on his experience so that he can guide us better or he can share his experience and thoughts for our analytical aspirant he is a part of uh, the analytical program in jobaj learning so i welcome him so arihant if you can uh, guide us for the participants uh, that what is your current job role and in which company mm-hmm. you are working right now so my current role is uh, i'm working as a business analyst at orient software technologies it comes under the umbrella of yash technologies if you have heard of it okay so in which city yeah. you are posted right now indore lucknow indore 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 so do you go to office or is it a work from home job yeah i go to office, office so you go 5 days only. yes okay and since when you have started this job role uh, it's been 6 months now Six months. And Aryan, can you also tell us a briefly about your academic uh, background? Okay. So actually, I'm from a uh, mechanical background. I have done my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. Okay. Uh, at the end of my engineering, I came to know about your courses via the Instagram ads, and just I hopped into the two days workshop that you arranged for the guys like us who want to start their career as a data analyst. So just after that two day workshop. i just brought your course uh, for this uh, corporate learning that course data analysis for corporate learning and through that uh, course i came to know about the business analyst post actually i was interested in the data analyst only but uh, when i came to know about that there is a profile called business analyst where you have to deal with the data and come out for the business decisions so it was something like that hit me it was something i like to do so i thought this uh, working throughout the week even if i have to work throughout the week in this profile i won't get bored or i won't get any stuff like that so i started learning for that and to be very honest i dropped out at the ending of the first course of the python that in the course we have because uh, that duration only i get to know that there are such openings in our city so i have applied over there uh, Uh, during there i have got three uh, op- uh, offers from mosfet from codient and from sia actually okay, so when i joined for the analytical job opening or they were yeah, different for the itba yes okay okay all right so uh, what was happening is before all these things i have also applied for the tcs uh, where also i have uh, got the offer letter but uh, till now i have not got the joining as of So okay. So this course they, also helped me. Yeah. Yeah. Th- this comes to a very very important point. So you got basically three offer letters. Now, can you just guide us? How did you apply for those job profiles, right? So what are the portals okay. that you used, and what are some the, tips and tricks you would like to give? First basic thing, uh, to improve the LinkedIn profile, I have updated my LinkedIn profile to the best I what I can do, and also use the tool that we have at the Jobaj platform. okay then i used to reach out to the recruiters directly instead of just the mailing to the company hr email i would reach out to the recruiters on linkedin i used to do some conversation like a little bit of conversation and to ask the job description over there only just to show my interest that uh, if i can fit into that job only so it does build in uh, the trust for the recruiters and uh, actually what thing was uh, when i was applying here yeah, the recruiter said that we have a opening for only the experienced candidates so i just uh, said one line to her you just arrange a interview it uh, i'll just assure you that it won't be a waste of time for your company and for the manager whoever will be interviewing uh, she liked this uh, confidence and she just arranged that out the my interview went for around uh, more than one hour actually being from a mechanical background it was tough for me to get into the it as a and that was a business analyst they were like what do you know about this so i just backed my status from this by saying that i have done a two months internship it was also a great story i have worked as a ci uh, business analyst intern before uh, when i was applying for a job in this field there uh, when i went there they were like we need only uh, csit students for uh, this role and uh, you are from the mechanical and background you, we cannot how did you you apply for that internship uh, the linkedin only linkedin okay i uh, use linkedin a lot okay so the, that same thing happened there also i said just you can uh, have a quick call you or you can have your manager on the call if he likes then we'll schedule for the interview that happened for the internship role 
so she managed uh, i be managed somehow uh, but what happened was at the first uh, time when i reached at their office for the interview the someone else looked at my re resume and they were like you are from the mechanical background we cannot have you here like you don't know anything and this is the internship where we want people to work with us uh, right now on the life projects so at first we have to work upon you have to train you then we will be having you as on life projects so they sent me out i was uh, like wo hatash wala jo scene hota bahut ganda laga tha us samay but when i went out of the building suddenly hr called back well uh, that it was not uh, for you we were uh, looking for someone else so she called me back and she uh, rescheduled the interview for the same day uh, the same goes on the manager liked my courage that yeah i want to be into the it field uh, main thing that i have an interest in business decisions also so he gave me some uh, one to two questions like if someone uh, so client comes and asks for a whatsapp clone what will you do so i just explained him that what a business analyst can do before that i have done some courses from via youtube and from other platforms as well what a business analyst do for an it industry so yeah that helped me also all right so uh, i think there are some key learnings in what you said the first thing is internships played a great role uh, whether it yes, is a it two does. month internship or a one month internship the second thing is directly reaching out to the recruiters on linkedin is much more uh, i would say is is a direct way because if you will just think that uh, what will the hr think if i will directly message him or her so that does not make any sense because hrs are looking for people to reach out to them and maybe yes. you will message 10 hrs two of them will respond to you but that is fine it's a 20% yes, conversion yes it happens rate. with me also exactly it's a 20% conversion rate that is also very good right so uh, these are some key learnings that we had over here which is which is very good and now like, um, are you, if you are, want a uh, proof like uh, to show it to our the students like hr does some hr does uh, leave my messages on seen only but some does come up and have a conversation also one uh, main thing i'll like to mention for the linkedin thing just reach out to the industry professionals who have experience like more than 2 to 3 years in the industry it they does help like i have one person at tcs she has been guiding me a lot for this role so there are people that guides me a lot yeah no no that's exactly i mean right because one of my friend he likes to be a mentor like if someone will reach out to he, reach out to him on linkedin his name is shashank so he will uh, help them and it is i mean he kind of likes mentoring students and then he kind of like mentoring professional as well so so that is a very positive approach that is a very good approach so i think that will further uh, enlighten the students and i would also like to ask you that what kind of skills you possess right now in terms uh, of like, tools technologies or soft skills okay uh, soft skill for the communication only like i have to be in the pre sales call for a uh, bait so the communication is the main thing uh, then i have to do the documentation so that also includes the technical documentation like uh, making the dsd frd and all that stuff uh, we use uh, i use as for my uh, efficiency control the trello for the project management company uses itself uh, their own project management tool and uh, the excel the basic powerpoint and excel we use all right and uh, is it your first job yes okay and what kind of questions were asked to you in the interviews uh it were more over technical interview like uh, what is server what is database what is api all that stuff that uh, that is going to be as i said that it was a job for experienced candidate so these were like the questions it's more of a what an it industry does okay and how many rounds of interview you had over there i had 3 rounds first one was the technical interview then the second was the hr and third one was the ceo round okay and uh, so since so how many interviews you applied for how many companies you applied for before getting selected in three companies okay like uh, i have offers from high tech when i was doing for the mechanical internship i have offer from tcs i have offer from bardhman textile that was that all were from the mechanical domain that okay. bardhman textile texture okay. that was for a bim engineer role so how many jobs you applied for like was it like the these were the only three jobs you applied and you got offer or you applied yes. for more okay so uh, apart from that um, uh, what kind of uh, guidance if you want to give to the future analytical aspirant whether they are from mechanical background or they are from any background who want to get into uh, it or who want to get into the analytical job roles right so what kind of 
kind of a rough road map you would like to give to them okay so i'll just only say one thing that is maybe the basic thing which everyone can think of just stay in the office if they allow don't rush to get to the home after a working hours because what happens in the it industry is everybody knows that managers comes around uh after the midday and they stay after the shifts over when the employees go home they stay and they just tap up whole uh, work for the day so what i used to do at my internship at cis even though my manager was also impressed with me for this thing uh, what i used to do is whenever the team leaves i just uh, like just scroll my chair back to the manager's uh, cubicle and just i sit there i I'll, i'll just ask whatever doubts i have throughout the day like sir what do i have to do in the in such situations after that whenever he does his work whenever he was in call i was like just sir i just want to be in the call i won't speak i won't say anything i just want to listen the conversation you are having with the client at what level you guys uh, think just i want to grab that thing like what is what is the mentality of mentality of that senior person so i used to the, do that a lot i have worked only for two months there but i have learned a lot that i can crack a job opening for a experienced candidate i also did one thing i have made one book in which i have mentioned the words like my english was not that good at that time so i used to uh, like write the words even the word certainly i used to uh, write that in my uh, diary that it uh, this was the word which uh, he was using and it looks like that it, uh, someone has a confidence in speaking it's an impactful word right in yes. a conversation all right so i think in this also we had learning like we should we should be proactive right it's not like whenever is someone is calling you you should be a part of it if you think that there is something that uh, you where you can grow for example listening to a client based conversation so that will not only improve your communication skills that will also give you exposure being an intern that how do we actually talk with clients how do we understand their requirement and as a business analyst it is very important to understand the requirement of the client and then convey the same to the team so i think this is also a, a very good attitude and and uh, um i think there is a lot of learning on this as well and again as far as improving your communication skills writing out impactful words and um this is i think also a good good thing that that the students should take a uh, note of so i think uh, these are some really good insights that you have given us uh, apart from that uh, is there anything else you would like to recommend in terms of tools technologies or in terms of uh, or what are your future aspirations as of now my future aspiration is uh Three years down the line, I want to get into the management consulting. Anyhow, whatever I, hard work I have to do, I will do. And uh, the one barrier I'll say I have, I will face is that I have not done the MBA. I do not have time to do MBA for like I do not have time to invest two month, two years for an MBA and then start into the management consulting. So mm. that would that would uh, took me a lot hard work for this and. Uh, 10 years down the line i want to start my own startup uh, somewhere around a saas based product okay that that's a, that's a great vision i mean uh, see if you are a data analyst as well so somewhere down the line you have to opt for managerial roles whether it is analytics managerial role or whether it is consulting managerial role so that is a path that everyone should uh, target after let's say 5 to 8 years but initially 5 to 8 years you can be into core analytics you can be a, a individual contributor to a project as well but at some point of time you have to uh, contribute and you have to basically take management roles as well but it's good you have that vision so far so i think aryan uh, thank you so much for guiding the students uh, through it i have had a lot of interviews uh, which are uploaded on the own channel as well but this is probably one of the most uh, knowledgeable interviews that students can take note of right so and i am a brutal honest on this so thank you so much Thanks. for being a part of this and uh, again uh, students will get a lot of insights from this